You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. I won't even get half the shit done today. After I read Worthless, I decided to switch my major to chemical engineering. <clears throat> the data from my university showed that the job prospects for computer engineering was better than chemical, but I always liked chemistry and never fond of computer programming. I graduated in the spring and couldn't find any chemical engineering jobs. I interviewed for a patent examiner, sales engineer, and medical technologist jobs. I'm currently a medical technologist trainee making $20 an hour. Any advice on how to parlay my chemical engineering degree into a higher paying job. All right. Now, because I know nothing about chemical engineering, let alone, oh, I do know stuff about chemistry. I studied it. Um, but um, I, I had no idea. And that's why I outsourced you to my buddy who was a chemist and gave you some advice. So I'm going to, I had some questions here. So I'm going to give you the video I promised you with a completely different view. So you get the guy from the ground up and then you get my ignorant, dumbass economist Simple logic, observational view that, that although ignorant and dumbassy, might shed a different light and give you a different angle and different approach. So that's why I wanted to contact the guy. Oh, I gotta pay him too. Shoot. I gotta pay him. Ah, uh, because I told him I'd pay him for his time. I'm not even making any money on this. Okay. Uh, I said, what does the job pay after you've done training? So my training involves a, pro a program designed to get me ASCP certified as medical technologist in chemistry. I provide, provide I pass an exam. That doesn't seem too hard to me. This would make me a med tech two. According to a job description, most techs at my lab aren't certified and I have a difficult time getting that. You make $19 an hour now, <clears throat> but you're gonna make 22, or you're gonna make 25 at the lab, 25 an hour. Also surprised when I signed something saying I'll work at it for now because, oh jeez, did you sign a two-year thing? Uh, okay, all right, I see what they're doing there. All right, well, okay, um, okay. Here's the deal. Every job you're gonna take out of college is gonna more or less suck. It's gonna be the worst one, likely, not always, but likely the worst job you're gonna get in terms of pay, at least, is out of college. Because that's you're out of college, you got zero years working experience, and at twenty five dollars an hour, dude, that's not too bad. If I remember, chemical engineers, just give me a second here, they're like in the ninety ninety six thousand dollars median income. Chemical engineer, ELS. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, ninety seven thousand, ninety eight thousand, twenty seventeen median pay. Um, <clears throat> not bad, but that's median, all right. And now I know that some, you know, maybe you know a buddy that got offered 70 grand and another buddy of yours got offered 68 grand. Now, a lot of this also depends on where you live. But $25 an hour, that's not bad at all. If we look, what, let's do starting salary for chemical engineers. Starting salary chemical engineer. Uh, number one slot, college degrees that pay the highest. All right, yeah, it looks like you're way below here on the... Could also be where you live. All right, Forbes, yes, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to continue to the article. Thank you, Forbes. Best paying degrees, do, do, do. number one slot. Okay. High starting salaries, number one slot at 70,400. Chemical engineering, number two, 66,000. Aerospace, number 64,000. Computer science, okay. I don't know if I believe that. Let's take a look at a. Uh, Let's see what this data says. 70,000 seems a little bit high. Chemical engineers pulled down an average of 73,000. All right, but that's overall income ranges from 51,000 near the bottom to 119,000 at the top. See, the, the statistics vary. So, yeah, starting is 53,000. That's, that's on the low end, and that's where you're going to start. Um, in other words, my point is that until you start getting experience, and you know, certainly follow the advice of the, of the guy that I had email you with that. But just from the, the old economist perspective, that you're about right. I mean, maybe you'd be on a little bit of the low end. Um, down the road, maybe be a little bit more aggressive with your, with your negotiation. But as you get experience, um, as you get a little bit of a work history going on in your resume there, and as long as you, you know, and here's the thing too, just, just kiss the ass, unless they're like really abusive, 
Just be a good boy and play. Get a good reference. Be there for your two years or whatever. So you have this nice, oh, look, you got this experience. In the meantime, maybe get some additional certifications. Uh, follow up, you know, stay on top of the trends. Look and see what, oh yeah, you got this technique, this program, this language. I know graduating with finance would help if you knew what was it, Syrian or SQL and all that. Get those skills in the meantime uh, so that you just beef up your resume a little bit and then be a little bit more aggressive with your interviewing. Is, is what I would say. And if they say, oh, we're only going to pay you 53, so say, no, it's, it's 70,000 or nothing. Maybe not even that high. Um, in, in other words, I don't think you're doing as bad as you think. 50,000, that's not a bad job, dude. A, a person can live on that. Uh, I, it, ideally, be just a little bit more, but you know, let me double check. Let's just take another look here. Those seem like high starting salaries. Starting salary by major. Pay scale, highest paying college majors. Well, are they going to provide the data or not? Type five is sausage. Maybe you're not going to give us the data, then screw you. Salaries by major, average starting plus current salaries. Starting salary, accounting 55, aerospace engineering 74. Horticulture, 71. Animal studies, 80. See, I don't... Uh, archaeology, 92. Th yeah, see, I don't... I don't... No. It's like you gotta get your doctorate for archaeology. Gotcha. Um, you, you're not doing as bad as you think. Could you maybe have gone 55, 60? Maybe, depending on where you went. Um, but I, I wouldn't panic just yet. Um, you're making pretty good money. You have a job. That's not bad. Uh, you know, put in your time, fancy up that resume a bit, get some certifications, learn some programming skills, or whatever, you know, they're looking, you know, you've applied for jobs, you see what they're looking for, you know what you don't have. Go and study that, and that's what I would do. Um, as always, though, as per having my chemist buddy come in and give you advice, any chemical engineers down below, you know, let's cast a big net. If you guys got some recommendations and advice for this guy, because I could be talking out of my ass, ergo why I outsourced it. But let's cast a nine. And if any of you are chemical engineering majors, chemists yourself, chemical engineers, want to give this guy a little bit of help, that'd be great. So, all right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.